Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey. Today, we will recap the NFL Championship games as the Eagles took on the Minnesota Vikings in a blowout, and the Patriots defeated the Jaguars by a score of 24 to 20. We'll talk about the NHL All-Star break that is upcoming, and we'll talk about the Flyers' upcoming schedule to their second half of the 2017-2018 NHL season. The 76ers, will talk about them as they start a four-game road trip, and then we'll talk some NCAA college hoops with Temple, St. Joe's, Pennsylvania, Nova, and LaSalle. Let's talk about the NFL playoffs. If you watched the NFL games on Sunday, you probably tune in for some fantastic games, starting in Philadelphia where the Eagles defeated the Minnesota Vikings in a blowout. It was 7-0 in Minnesota early in the first, but it was all Philadelphia. The Eagles got to Case Keenum. Keenum forced a fumble, and Philadelphia recovered. Well done. But Philadelphia got away with a touchdown as the ball hit the ground on review and Philadelphia had the football on downs. Well played, Philadelphia. And it was all Philly winning 38-7 and they were partying on Broad Street. That's right, they were partying. And let's talk about the game in Foxborough. The Jaguars and the Patriots. Patriots defeated the Jaguars by a score of 24-20. An amazing comeback fashion in the fourth quarter. It was Tom Brady going down the field, driving down the field, and he did very well finding his receivers. He found Chris Hogan, Rob Gronkowski, Julian Edelman, and that was an amazing performance by Brady. He led the team after the Patriots were down 20 to 10, and now they went on to win by a score of 24 to 20. The Super Bowl is all set for Sunday as Tom Brady and the Pats will take on Nick Foles and the Eagles in Minneapolis. And now I am a bit confused because there are two of my favorite teams. Which teams do I root for? Do I root for the Patriots or do I root for the Eagles? The Patriots have won so many Super Bowls, the Eagles have yet to win one. I'm going to say Doug Peterson is going to take the Super Bowl home back to Broad Street. He has yet to get his team a Super Bowl. All Doug Peterson has to do is lead his offense down the field and his defense to put pressure on Brady and sack him. We know defense is difficult, but I know the Eagles can do it against a tough Patriot offense. And plus, the winning game, they're going to have to go through the defense, and that's going to be pretty hard when you got Rob Nikovich on the other side. Good luck to both of those teams. We'll preview that game next week. And now let's talk about the NHL All-Star break. That is upcoming in Tampa. You got Metropolitan taking on the Atlantic and the Central taking on the Pacific. And now we got to decide which two divisions are going to be playing. Will it be Metropolitan versus the Central? Will it be Atlantic versus Pacific? Will it be Metropolitan versus Central? Or Metropolitan versus Pacific? Gonna be an easy thought battle, but we'll see who comes out victorious in the NHL All-Star game. The Philadelphia Flyers will start their second half of the season. They'll start off their second half on Wednesday in the nation's capital as they take on Alex Ovechkin and the Washington Capitals. And then from Washington, D.C. to Newark they go as they will take on the New Jersey Devils. Their next meeting, these two teams met in New Jersey the last time. Philadelphia won 5-3. Good luck to the Flyers. Let's get some wins to start the second half of the 2017-2018 season. The Philadelphia 76ers will start a four-game road trip as they will be in San Antonio on Friday, Oklahoma City on Sunday, Milwaukee on Monday, and Brooklyn on Wednesday. A four-state road trip in Texas, Oklahoma, Wisconsin, and New York City. Going to be a tough-fought battle for the Sixers. How many minutes will they get on their road trip? We'll have to wait and see. Maybe I'll say 4-0. We never know. Good luck to the Sixers. Let's keep, let's get some wins. Now it's time to talk some college hoops. What has gone into the Temple Owls? Losing at Cincinnati 75-42, that was unacceptable. You can't win with defense. You've got to win with offense. Get some offensive rebounds and drive to the hoop. Start winning, Temple. Fight, fight, fight for the cherry and the white. 
They'll take on UConn on Sunday and Wichita State on Thursday. On Saturday, we got the Battle of Pennsylvania for you as St. Joe's will take on the Quakers of Pennsylvania at the Palestra. This is going to be an exciting matchup. One from the Ivy League, one from the Atlantic 10. Will St. Joe's come away with a win and beat a good Pennsylvania team? Or will Pennsylvania win and beat St. Joe's? It's a good Battle of Pennsylvania matchup. We will have that for you and enjoy those games. The Villanova Wildcats done extremely well. They're on the road at Marquette. And then they're back home to the Wells Fargo Center as they take on Crichton. But on Super Bowl Day, Seton Hall comes to Philadelphia. We got New Jersey versus Pennsylvania. That's right, the Battle of the Big East. So before you watch the Super Bowl, watch them NCAA College Hoops as Nova plays Seton Hall. Good luck to Nova, and let's see how well they do against Marquette, Crichton, and Seton Hall. Good luck, Nova. And LaSalle... 187-72, they went on to play UMass on Wednesday, a good performance by LaSalle, let's see if they keep it going, and they will be on the road at Davidson on Wednesday. Good luck to all the Pennsylvania teams out there, let's get some wins to start off the second half of the seasons. That is it for now, don't forget to check out my radio show, Let's Talk Sports, air Saturday nights at 5 on Victory 1460 WIFI. And if you missed it, you can always listen to my podcast to my Facebook page at Stefan Sports Radio. Talk to you soon. Keep those comments rolling. Go Eagles! Have a great night!